Smoke filling the air, the landscape painted orange with flames. These were the terrifying scenes that confronted people in many communities along Australia's east coast last week. It honestly looked like an apocalyptic scene, like everyone was like just packing up and leaving and a lot of people were rushing together to try and figure out what's going on. This was the worst ever start to New South Wales and Queensland's fire season. More than 130 fires burned across the states, destroying at least 26 homes. At the time, we sort of had some stuff on standby, but um, we were all racing around the house. Like, my sister was grabbing the valuable, like the memories type stuff, and then I was grabbing all my, like, it was all a team effort, but it was pretty scary because it was very real. Of course, bushfires are not unusual in Australia. But this year is different. I've never seen this before in recorded history. Fire weather has never been as severe this early in spring. Some of the fires are also happening in unexpected places, like rainforests, which are usually, well, wet. See, in much of New South Wales and Queensland, winter rainfall has been much lower than usual. The red on this map shows below average, and the dark red is the lowest on record. While temperatures, they've been high. The orange here is above average. While really hot and dry years do sometimes happen, most experts agree that we'll be seeing a lot more of this in the future. With an increasing uh, temperature, uh, with climate change, then what the scientists tell us is that uh, events such as these will be more frequent and they will be much more ferocious. Already this year, the world sweated its way through the hottest ever June. There were fires in typically cold places like Alaska, Siberia and Greenland, and the smoke could even be seen from space. Experts say authorities all around the world need to be prepared for stronger, more frequent fires. But ordinary people need to be ready too. That's what's happening here at Strathewan Primary School in Victoria. In 2009, the Black Saturday bushfires ripped through Strathewan, devastating the entire town. We lost quite a few people that day, so um, it's good for kids to know now how to act, how to react if something like that comes through again, and we, I really hope it won't. Now, they're working on their own fire plan that is designed by kids for kids. They say kids can play a really important role in preparing for bushfires, but often aren't included in plans. Adults generally don't really listen to kids, so if we can tell them what we can learn at a young age, we can continue that through our life. The students learn how fire danger warnings work and what to do in a fire. They then use this knowledge to teach other kids. Tomorrow's fire danger rating is severe and a total fire ban. We put our bushfire survival bags in the car before we leave. All around the world, people have experienced natural disasters like um, hurricanes, tsunamis. And so if they experience another terrible fire like Black Saturday, um, they can really know what to do. They can really take charge, get out safely and be safe.